Welcome to NASCAR Kids View. I am John Breeden, your host, along with my co-host Nicholas Breeden. We're coming off one hot night in Charlotte as Jimmy Johnson won his third NASCAR Sprint All-Star Race, joining Dale Earnhardt and Jeff Gordon with the only drivers to win three NASCAR Sprint All-Star Races. So, Nicholas, Jimmy Johnson, so far this year, has been doing pretty good. He not only won the Sprint All-Star Race, he won at Darlington a few weeks ago, giving Rick Hendrick his 200th win, and then winning the Pit Crew Challenge, giving Rick Hendrick his first NASCAR Pit Crew Challenge win. So, what do you think about Jimmy Johnson winning that sixth championship this year? Do you think he'd do it? I think he can, and only if he keep, keeps winning. He can't win a championship with just one win. But remember, Johnson has the best pit crew for 2012. He does have the pick, best pit crew, and remember, Jimmy Johnson has the most, as his car is owned by four-time Sprint Cup Series champion Jeff Gordon. Now remember, as so far this season, Jimmy Johnson has been getting his year off to a good start. For Gordon, however, he's had a tough year so far. The four-time Sprint Cup Series champion since 24th in Sprint Cup Series points. So, Nicholas, do you think Jeff Gordon can make that chase this year, or is it too late? Oh, no, no way. Hey, it's, it's way too early. Jeff has plenty of time. Um, and, and he can and make take the top ten or get a wild card spot. Jeff ha so Jeff can make the chase. And, uh, and remember last year, that's where Brad Keselowski was at the points and still made the chase from a wild card spot, courtesy of three wins last year, coming at Kansas, Pocono, and Bristol. Speaking of Brad, he has two wins so far this season at Bristol and Talladega. He's off to a strong start and is trying to get Roger Penske his first NASCAR Sprint Cup Series title. And, Nicholas, what do you think of Brad? I mean, he's, he's off to a good start. Do you think that Chippy Chip will come? Well, certainly he is one of the contenders to win. But, John, you're forgetting one thing. He has to make the chase first. You can't win the championship if you don't make the chase. But well, I don't think that matters. Brad has two wins. Only thing he needs to do is to stay in the top 20, and he'll be fine. And that's all you have to do to make the chase, and that's all Brad needs to do to go after a championship. All right, Junior Nation, Dale Earnhardt Jr. came off a wild night last night in Charlotte after winning the sprint showdown ahead of A.J. Allmendinger and Jamie McMurray, and then winning segment four in the sprint all-star race, and wound up finishing fifth. So, Nils, as, as Junior closes in to that, that first win since 2008, what would be the best chance for Dale Jr. to get a win? Well, Junior did hit good last night in the All-Star Race, so I think Junior will win at Charlotte. So, oh, he'll, be in the top, he'll be the top contenders to win next week. And Junior came pretty close last year in the Coke 600, except... He ran out of fuel on the last lap and the last turn, and that, that was pretty good. I thought that was funny. <laughs> anyway, another driver closing in on his first NASCAR Sprint Cup Series win, A.J. Allmendinger. And Nicholas, A.J. is coming close week in and week out. He still can't get it done. Well, A.J.'s, he's, he wants to win some races, but what's happened is, AJ has a good week, then he has a bad week. So he needs to keep it up to win if he wants to win some races. And he is going to have to keep it up if he's going to get that first win. And now, Nicholas, who do you think is going to come away with a victory in the Coke 600? Well, um, he's won two races this year. He's won Bristol and Dega. I'm going with Brad Keselowski. Well, one thing you're forgetting it is, is his teammate. A.J. Allmendinger, still going after his first win. He is going to win the Coca-Cola 600. Well, that's it at NASCAR's Kid View. See you next week.